Hey, hey, what's up guys? So today I'm gonna talk about um, a day in the life of a front-end web developer. I mean, my, my own experience. Because uh, before I landed my first job, I was uh, always like curious about uh, <laughs> what does a front-end web developer really does? You know, I, I know that they have to build websites and stuff, but I was always like curious when they are going to the office and stuff, like uh, what they are actually doing, because for sure they are not just building websites, and uh, that's actually true. So, um, from my own experience that I'm going to share with you guys now, um, so it's, it's like this in my my current job. So. The client come to us they, they want a website or something and I build I build like uh, let's say um, three um, three variations of the, the website so three variations it means like three different designs for the website it doesn't mean that they are like completely different they just have like some kind of uh, different uh, buttons or different headers you know just just to try which one is the, the best design so after I build these um, these uh, three variations, let's say. I, I, I build them on um, Photoshop first, the designs, because it's faster than if I have to actually code it and then the client, they don't like it and it's just a, a loss of time. So I can quickly just do it on, um, on Photoshop. After I have done the, um, the designs, I, I build a, what's called a test plan, which is like um, a report, a document, a document that I'm going to write that uh, uh, talking about the website, why I'm, I'm choosing like these colors or, uh, or why I'm putting these uh, call to action button in the top, why I'm putting reviews uh, there, you know, like trying to explain what am I thinking when I'm building this. And we take these... Um, these designs and these test the test plans reports to the client. We have a meeting with them and we discuss uh, if they like it, what they would like to change and stuff. And we we share with them what we think is the what works the best for what works and uh, because of our own experience with the other clients as well. Um, so after this, if all is set up, they agree, they, they like the designs, what they would like to change and stuff, I, um, I start to actually code the, um, the, the three different, let's say, uh, designs, designs, variations, how you want to call them. And um, after, after I, um, I code them, so... Um, and I'm gonna explain why why do we um, do we create like for example three three uh, different designs for a website for sure if you have applied for any kind of job in a web development you have seen like they require knowledge in a B tests so what a B test is like there are some kind of soft softwares and online websites where you can put like uh, three four different designs of a website and uh, different people that come to your domain name they will see a different design so for example the person number one who comes to your website they will see one design the person number two they will see another design so different people will see different designs and what we want to do with this is like track with google analytics which one is the the design variation that uh, is working the best for the client uh, yeah, so um, after after the websites are, are being built and we put them live online, we track them with the Google Analytics, like I said, to see which one is um, working the best. And usually these kind of campaigns, like we call it, they, they last for, let's say, three, four months. And we will see w which one is like performing the best, like uh, if the client, for example, he has this, his main goal for people to, to sign up a form requesting like a quote for some kind of work that they have or they, they, they want like a specific goal, they want people to click on a button to go to the checkout because they are buying something. We, we're gonna see like which variation is uh, working the best and in the end this is the, this is the one that is gonna win. 
and it's gonna stay like uh, we, we're gonna remove all the the other uh, designs I mean so yeah this is like um, I, I, I forgot to mention as well this is very important when um, when we um, when we build the websites and we put them live I need to do um, a test to to see if they are working the same in all browsers there are some people who some people in some agencies that I have seen that they don't do this and for example the website is gonna look uh, good on Chrome but it's gonna look terrible on um, on Internet Explorer I have seen this because some some kind of technologies in coding like some lines of code they they don't work in all kinds of uh, versions for example it may work on Internet Explorer 10 but it may not work on Internet Explorer 7 so that's why when we finish all these codings of the designs we need to test them I'm um, we at my company now we use um, a website called browser stack which uh, allows you to to see how the website looks like for example in an iPad or in a in an iPhone or a, in an Android phone how, how does it work in uh, Internet Explorer, Chrome so you can test basically in any kinds of device and make sure that everything is fine so yeah this is like very important and I just wanted to let you guys know and um, I, think, I think that's about it oh, I, I also have to build um, some kind of reports I don't know if I mentioned this before in the video <laughs> But yeah, just to see how much uh, how much um, number of visitors we are having in the website, so I have to update the clients all the time just to make to let them know what's going on. Yeah. So that's it, guys. So this is like uh, like what what I do as a front end web developer. I know that not all web developers are going to do the same thing, but this is just my own experience, and I I wanted to share with you guys. So I hope you like this video. If you want to know something else about what I do or uh, other developers doing their job, let me know in the comments down below. 